Hey gang, it's me again with the broke arm. So I am taking my splint off and cleaning my arm and thought I would do a little thing. <laughs> so last night, I've been camping in the, in the desert with Brenda and Mike. And last night I went to town and slept at the pilot truck stop. I guess I needed an adventure or something. So I was sitting there, had my laptop out, and well, started, you know, started watching a movie. Um, didn't put my little curtains up over the side windows. You know, the back ones I've got the the other stuff on, but the side windows I have these two scarves that I've been using. But with one hand, it's just a real pain in the butt to get them up. So I just didn't put them up. I was the only one there. There were trucks all around me, so it, you know, it didn't bother me none. It was fine. So. I had the movie started. I was on my little my cell phone, which by the way, I turned the volume down. <laughs> I remember to do it before I started this time. So anyway, I turned, um, I was texting and watching the movie and I already had changed them to my pajamas, which was a shorts and a t-shirt. And, um, and this black pickup truck pulls in and pulls in beside me, beside my barn doors here on the passenger side. And got, you know, rather close, you know, just like a couple of feet from the van. Um, and at first I thought it was the, that guy Troy that did my um, odd alarm a week or so ago. So, anyway, um, I thought it was Troy. It was dark out. I wasn't getting out. I was just sitting here watching, waiting. So, so he backed up far enough to where the his front seat window he couldn't see me because it was um, behind my blacked out windows here. So after about five minutes or so, he gets out and um, walks up to my windows in my barn door. And I had one of them, you know, they kind of fold out. So I had one of them open, and he said hi. So I said hi, and I opened my door, and he said um. Are you a working girl? I said, uh, no. I said, I was just, you know, here looking for a safe place to park for the night. And he said, oh, okay. You know, he was polite. It was an older man. You know, just wanting to get laid, I guess. Not scary at all. Creepy a little bit, but not scary. And um, he said, oh, okay. Uh, you want some company? I said, no, thank you. And he said, okay, and he backed up, and I shut my door and locked it. So he sat there for a while, probably, you know, five minutes or so. Then he starts up his truck, and I'm thinking, yay, he's going. And by that time, I'd already text Brenda and Swanky that he had, you know, come to my door and asked me that. And um, he starts his truck, lets it run for a minute, and it's real loud, like a diesel or something. He pulls up just enough to where from his driver's side window, he can see me through my barn door windows. And I have the movie on, which is sitting right here where the camera is. So that glow is on me, and I've got my phone in my hand, texting. So there wasn't really anything to see, <laughs> you know. But and then he turns his engine off, and I'm like, crap. So I wait a few, and it was probably five, between five and ten minutes, maybe. And I thought I was just about to shut the stuff off and get out and get in the front and just start up and move when he started his truck again. I thought, okay, well maybe he's leaving. And he let it run a minute, and then he did. He left. So, while he was creepy, it was, you know, not a scary moment. You know, I, you know, I live in a van. If I get nervous, I can get in the front seat and go. And then, um, it'll be a job to get in the front seat from inside, but it's not impossible. Because I got all that stuff there. So, anyway, that's the story. Another van life adventure. So now, my hand hurt all night last night, but day before yesterday, I had the, the thing off, and I was sitting outside and letting it sun, and I was moving my fingers a lot, because I can't move them very much right now, and I'm thinking just because, you know, I haven't used those muscles, and they, you know, you don't use it, you lose it. So, I'm thinking it's sore, I don't know, but it hurt last night, and I got the Tylenol 3, the prescription from the emergency room. I filled the prescription, but I haven't taken a one. I've been doing the ibuprofen, but I haven't taken any in a couple of days. 
I think I'm going to this morning. I haven't done it yet. I keep thinking I'm going to, but I just haven't done it. I hate taking pills. My vitamins I don't mind. You know, I get the vitamin C's. And it hurts over here today. I don't know if you can see that on that side. And um, I can move my thumb a little more with less pain than I could last week. Uh, I'm still swollen, like the, the top half of my hand to my knuckles right there. So like between there and there, I'm still swollen. The rest of it doesn't seem to be swollen. Um, my brace thing stinks. It's awful. But um, I've noticed that it, it kind of twists sometimes. And last night it, it pressed on this side a lot. And I think that maybe that's why it's hurting today, because it was pressing right there. Sometimes it'll press right here, and then my thumb will hurt. So I went to the pharmacy here in Quartzsite, and they didn't have anything. And I went to the emergency care, and they wouldn't sell me one. You know, I don't have insurance, so they're not going to see me. But I was hoping they would, like, just sell me the thing, and I'll do it myself. Or, you know, have Brenda help me do it. But they wouldn't even do it. They kept saying liability. It's like, it's not liability if you're just selling me as a brace. I mean, whatever. So the nearest medical supplies in Blythe, and the pharmacy told me to go check there, and uh, warned me to call first. <laughs> but oh well. So um, we were going to go to Yuma Thursday, but now we're not. Uh, Sunday morning, I've got a guy that's going to help me with my brake pads can't really go anywhere until I get the brake pads done. They sound awful, so I'm trying not to drive any more than I feel I have to. And I really don't have to drive at all, but I can't sit still. So anyway, every couple of days I take my thing off. And I get baby wipes, which I have a ton of because I'm paranoid about um, running out of baby wipes. So I've got, when I catch them on sale, I just grab one or two. So I've got baby wipes and I just kind of wipe off my arm um, if I have time I'll let it air dry um, if I don't I get a paper towel and you know dry it off before I put the thing back on I don't put it back on wet because I'm sure all that oh god it hurts it stinks all the sweating and stuff is probably why it stinks um, man that hurts But anyway, did you hear my phone go off? I just heard it. I turned it down, but I, and I didn't turn it to vibrate, so maybe you won't hurt. Or you probably did since I heard it. Man, that hurts. But it's like where the, the cast was pressing on that spot. That's where it hurts. So it must have been pressing on there all night. I didn't sleep good last night because it hurt. But you know, a, a week or two ago, before I was out here in the desert, I um, I had posted on my Facebook that, you know, I wonder, I wonder if anybody, any of these truck drivers ever think I'm a lot lizard. And um, of course, nobody's ever said anything, so. Until last night, but I just think it's funny. It's not scary, so don't get all panicky. And I mean, there's crazy people in the world, I know, but there's a lot more good people than crazy people. And I'm sure the old man, well, you know, stupid of him to go around asking people that way, that. And, you know, stupid of him to actually go look for them, because, you know, who knows what they got. You know, if, if anything else, I mean, what diseases are they carrying? You know, because if they're doing that, they're doing it with as many people as they can. And, I don't know, it's just, it's just not a good thing. So, anyway, I just think it's funny. So, y'all just take it as a funny, not a... Not a, oh my god, you're in so much danger. No, because I'm not. Well, you know, I'm careful. If I start feeling uncomfortable, I just get in the van and go somewhere else. That's one of the good things about living this way. So, that's what it is. Yeah, and somebody, um, a, a year or so ago, I found this ad on Craigslist where if I read this little script, and it turned out to be like a minute video, and made a video of me saying this, this script, they would pay me $50. I did it, I sent it to them, and I got the $50. I don't know what it's, somebody 
put a comment on there asking me what that was for, and I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they, on their comment, I wasn't able to reply. So, if you're watching this, I don't really want this. I'm sorry. I should have looked before I did this, but I didn't think about it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know what it's for. They never let me know. I never heard from them again. It was fine. It was 50 bucks. I needed 50 bucks. I love Craigslist. I've had, and I know the Craigslist killer, that movie. I mean, bad things can happen anywhere. But I've had real good luck with Craigslist. Yep. And I'm just careful. I mean, that's what you got to do. You got to be careful. Aware. Common sense. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. So, I am going to... So, here's the arm. It's not, it's swollen, but it's not as bad as it was. Um, that's as far as I can bend my fingers. I don't know if you can see that. And that's as far as I can straighten it right now. So, that's what it is. This is where I'm at. I'm still in quartzite. I hope to be leaving next week. Or Sunday or whenever. As soon as the brake pads are done. And I'm traveling with Brenda still. And we're having fun. Yeah, so.